Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. I wanted to show you one of my favorite tools that I use for slicing and dicing. So first off, we're gonna be cutting up some bell peppers. I'm gonna be using our Pampered Chef stainless steel forged knife here. Um, this is our Santoku knife. It is one solid piece of stainless steel metal here from the tip to the very handle is one solid piece. And it actually is, let me see if I can show it to you guys, a tapered blade for precision cutting, which is pretty amazing. Um, our, all our knives have a lifetime warranty and full tang, which is really important when you're cutting. All right, so I'm gonna show you, we are going to cut the top off of this bell pepper. And one of my favorite tools to use to de-seed and take out all this fun stuff here is our scoop and loop. I don't know if you guys can see, but it actually has little teeth here. And what it actually does is, I'm gonna show you right here, you actually insert this into your bell pepper, turn this into a circular motion. I'm gonna throw my scooper into this bowl here, and you just scoop it out. And then you just DC the rest of it and devein all of it. But check this out. How great is that, right? Not gonna lie, I used to be the person back in the day I would literally stick my whole hand into the bell pepper to clean it out. Now, you don't have to do that. You can use your scoop and loop. This is also really great if you want to de-seed jalapenos as well. Um, so you could cut your jalapeno in half vertically and then de-seed it, which is really nice. Um, Cause I was also the person, I would cut a jalapeno and then touch my eye like two hours later and then cry for the rest of the day. So anyways, this is a pretty awesome tool as well. So this is the scoop and loop. Okay, so now that we have our bell pepper cut, this is the quick slice. So what I love about this is that it actually has serrated blades here. I know it's kind of hard to see here, guys. Um, and it actually has grooves here. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to line up our bell pepper here. And we're going to cut it down like so. Um, so the main secret to this tool is that it is a rocking motion. So it's not something that you're going to forcefully push down on, on um, to cut. Um, it actually doesn't work that well when you forcefully put it down. So what? watch me as I do this. I'm just going to kind of rock this side to side, left to right, all the way down. And then look at this bell pepper. Nice and sliced and diced, right? Look at this. Isn't that awesome? Now... I did want to show you guys as well, since I have this out, how it does for tomatoes. So I'm just going to dump that out. Here's a tomato, of course, regular Roma tomato. So we are big fans of tomatoes here, um, but you know how it is. If you don't eat your tomatoes early enough, then they get soggy and mushy. And when you try to cut them with a knife, if your knife isn't sharp enough, then it's triangle shaped. The juices squirt all over your countertop. It's a whole cleanup deal, right? So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys the tomato just because I love cutting tomatoes with this. I'm gonna rinse this, get my bell pepper off of here real quick, guys. All right, so here we go. Rocking motion, left to right, all the way down. Done, and here's my tomato. Look at this, I just took the top off. Look at this. Perfect, right? If you're doing barbecues or anything like that, burgers, this is great for that. Now, I always get asked, can you dice in this? You absolutely can dice in it. So I'm actually gonna rotate the tomato the opposite way. And of course, now that it's already sliced, it will slightly move, but that's okay. You're just gonna work your way all the way through, rocking left to right, all the way down, applying pressure, and look. Diced tomatoes. Pretty awesome, right? I'm gonna put this in a different bowl over here. Um, but this is all nicely diced. So what's great about the quick slice is that you can cut anything that is not firm. Um, so you can do, the firmest I would do probably is no firmer than like a zucchini or a cucumber you could do with it. Um, but this is also great for artichoke carts. You can do great tomatoes, strawberries, mushrooms, avocados, fresh mozzarella balls. Um, so anything soft, hard boiled eggs, great. If you're doing an egg salad, you can slice and dice. Um, so it is pretty awesome. Um, and again, this is called the quick slice. Thanks guys.